Hey guys, welcome to the channel. This is yet another unboxing video for you. As with all the other unboxing video, it is a joyful one where we receive the product that we have purchased, we waited for the shipment, and we get to unbox this and see it in the flesh for the first time. Today, the subject of the video is the very famous Ever Solo DMP A6 streamer. You may ask, why do we need to buy this DMP A6 streamer from Ever Solo? This is especially so where Dina Flips is releasing their own streamer, the RC streamer, which I have one here with me. This is the RC streamer. We should start shipping it very soon. And this is the first Dina Frips streamer. Why do we need to buy the Ever Solo A6? In this case, the reality is we get asked by many other Ever Solo A6 streamer user which Dina Frips DAC is suitable to go with the streamer. The customer wants to further improve the sound quality of the A6 streamer that they like and wonder which Dina Flips DAC is suitable to go with it. Without the streamer with us, it is hard for us to tell whether adding the Dina Flips Enyo, the Dina Flips Aries 12-1 or the Pontus, Venus or even the Terminator will bring you the improvement with this streamer. Without the streamer with us, we do not know whether it will work well with Dina Frips DSC or not. Without thinking much, we bought one from Ever Solo and this gets shipped to us pretty quickly. So we have it right in front of us and we thought of having this unboxing video as a part one video to show you what Ever Solo A6 is included in the package and show you or rather to tell you what do we feel of this streamer the build quality the packaging as we unbox it all right this is the outer box it comes with double box so the outer box is a plain carton that protects it from its journey to you or to us right unboxing this is pretty straightforward just leave the two there's, there's no tape so you may just leave the cover open and we'll see the inner box like this. It's not, it's not excessively heavy, so I can carry this by using one of my hand. Okay, ever so low. Let me put the outer box aside and this is how it looks like. So this is the double box and this is the inner box and it's covered with a plastic sheet to protect it. And it is in black color and there's a label here to say that it is a DMP A6 Master Edition. So we have chosen the higher end series, the Master Edition with a couple of upgrades, uh, specifically the crystal inside this unit. And I think the front panel has a golden color instead of the plain silver color, uh, silver and black color. So this has a golden color label instead of the silver color. So this is the master edition. There are some label here to say it plays DSD, PCM, it uses ESS Saber DSC chips, it supports MQA, and there are some other streaming music services. That's about it. Nothing else, and I'll have my pen knife to cut the plastic protective film away and start to unbox this. Again, it's a joyful moment to unbox the toy. All right. As you can tell, the box is uh, pretty well protected from its journey to us. There's no major dent or anything like that. So the unit should be fine. And as I gently remove the plastic film, oh, let me find a way to protect the plastic film. I always like to keep the plastic film around, but it seems like, oh, it's possible. All right. Okay, let me just cut the top part. Okay, we, that should be it. We will be able to remove the plastic film gently. And, ta-da! 
this is how it looks like internally a protective film and as this envelope says a quick start guide um, probably some of the instruction a quick instruction to tell you um, what it does for the knobs and what it does for the outputs as well right and let me just lift this guy out and we should be able to see the unit itself this is how it looks like internally a cloth cover to cover the unit itself and there's this compartment for the accessory so I think it is for the power cord as well as some cable let me just pop this guy out and show you what is inside this small little box okay, do it gently <laughs> okay, this is a small little box that contains power cord we have selected the UK version so the power cord shipped to us should be a UK version so this is the power cord it's a UK plug we use UK plug in Singapore and it seems like a pretty good quality USB cable USB type A and type B cable for you to connect ah, it says Eversolo brand so this must be OEM for Eversolo for you to connect the computer to the Eversolo streamer and there's this plus screwdriver here I'm not sure what is the purpose of this screwdriver and we'll see later and this is this is it there are three items inside this box and let me just put it back and put this box right beside me okay this is the unit itself and we will be able to pop this unit out oh it's pretty tight uh, it's a pretty thick form to protect the unit from its journey to us and I think Eversolo did a good job the packaging is quite nice and there are some other things alright okay, as you can tell the protective film the protective foam has some cut out here to allow the unit to sit properly in this box with some um, cut out here for the antenna as well as for the knot so it's a pretty well thought out uh, protective uh, and box design and we can say goodbye to this box ah sadly the plastic film cannot be recovered anymore I'll just discard it <laughs> okay it is covered with this cloth cover right let me just remove it and we'll be able to see the unit for the first time this is the first time I'm seeing this unit I've been told that the build quality is good and I have no doubt about it Ta-da! This is the unit itself Hmm. Good build quality but for some reason there's a stain here I'm not sure whether it can be wiped off but I hope it can Hmm. This, there's this stain here I'm not sure whether is it due to hmm, QA, QC mishap or some sort I'm not sure whether you can see this uh, stain here or not I hope it can be wiped off by damp cloth or I like to use a alcohol based hand sanitizer put a little bit of alcohol based hand sanitizer on a damp cloth and you will be able to wipe off stand like this quite easily alright anyway this is the unit itself it's made of full aluminium it's pretty sturdy but it doesn't feel heavy so um, the chassis is sturdy I think it's a pretty thick chassis but it doesn't feel um, heavy in a sense as compared to the RC streamer that I have on the floor RC streamer has a huge transformer so it feels a lot more substantial whereas the Eversolo although it is thicker and slightly wider it doesn't feel as heavy as the RC but the build quality in all honesty is very good it comes with a 6 inch big LCD screen and it is Android based there are a lot of apps pre-installed for you by Eversolo we'll power it up and show you in the next video and this is how it looks like in real life and the back of the unit there are three antenna that can be turned upside down in normal use case you should use it in this fashion but if you don't like it you can also point it down in this fashion or rather uh, it can it cannot be turned vertically some of the antenna can be turned uh, vertically but for this uh, particular one there's only up and down it's uh, screw on so 
in normal use, use case, it will look like this. So there are some other things that I need to use my faithful pointer to show you. AC inlets. Um, I did a brief study before I filmed this video. The AC will convert to DC using its built-in switch mode power supply. So EverSolo um, uses switch mode power supply instead of the linear power supply that Dynaflips always like to use. So there's this built-in switch mode power supply internally to convert the AC to DC to power up the circuitry. So this unit supports voltage. Before I make a mistake, I should read. It supports voltage from 100 volt to 240. So it's a worldwide voltage support. So regardless where you buy this unit, it will always work in your country because the switch mode power supply can accept 100 volt to 240 volt. So, so much hold for the AC inlet. There's this Ethernet port here allows you to connect to your network. But I guess one of the antenna is for Wi-Fi. You may also connect this unit through Wi-Fi to the home network for streaming. There are some other ports here, HDMI. This HDMI is not i squares. It is the real multimedia HDMI where you can connect this to AVR or other devices that accept HDMI output. USB port that allows you to connect to USB audio DAC externally. So this is why we buy this EverSolo A6 streamer. We want to try the USB audio output with Dynaflip's DAC and let you know whether this A6 synergizes well with Dynaflip's DAC or not and some of the parameter settings that it might have to configure the A6 to work with Dynaflip's DAC. And we have digital input. That's interesting. You may connect digital input to this A6 streamer to use it as an external DAC. It has a USB Type-C coaxial and optical port. Output-wise, we have RCA and XLR. It uses ESS Sabre chip to convert the digital signal to analog. Sorry, I'm breathing pretty hard right now. I just came back from her, from some, some other stuff, so I'm breathing pretty hard. All right, uh, besides the stain, I think the unit is pretty well built. Oh, there's something special. There's this SSD um, slot here that allows you to connect um, external solid state drive to this that allows you to play back the music from the SSD. Mm, again, pretty well built. And this is how you identify the master edition. This batch here and this label here says it is a master, it is a master edition Ever Solo DMP A6 in gold color instead of the usual silver color. Build quality is good and I hope this stain can be removed by using some solution. Okay, so much for the unboxing video. We're gonna use it for a couple of weeks with Dynaflip's DAC or the DDC and let you know where, what do we think about this streamer synergizing with Dynaflip's DAC. Um, I think I've talked most of the stuff that I want to talk in this video and I need to slow down a little bit. I'm breathing a little bit too fast. And if you like the channel, if you like the content of my videos, do subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.